Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, we are going to be strengthening, toning and sculpting the back muscles. A group of muscles which are so often neglected, because probably just because we can't see them, but having strong back muscles is so important for maintaining good posture and for enabling you to do a whole load of functional movements that we need for everyday life. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, share it with a friend and challenge them to do it too. And make sure that you subscribe for more videos because I'm making more videos than ever for you guys. I hope you like them. Um, and yeah, join me on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. And let's be internet friends because it's good fun. I like it. All right then, without further ado, I'll let's get into the workout. You ready? All right, we're getting straight into it, starting off with some standing flies, ready and go. I want you to push the hips back just a little bit and um, keep a slight bend in the knees, weight through the heels, arms nice and wide apart. We are bringing the arms back to parallel with the body, really targeting the muscles of the upper back, the delts, the rhomboids, really working them quite well. I know that these are usually done with weights, but you do not, you never really need a lot of weight with this movement and you can definitely get a great workout using just your body weight. Are you feeling it? Because I'm feeling it. Keep going as though you're kind of flying you just want to bring the arms to slightly behind you and relax catch your breath a little bit we're going to come down onto the floor and onto the next movement which are some back raises so lying with your face towards the floor legs behind you you're gonna bring the upper body up off the mat ready and go keep your elbows out to the side raising the upper body off the floor targeting the lats the lower back muscles as well you will feel this in your glutes as well so try and keep the core nice and tight legs just comfortably behind you keep lifting well done breathe through the exercise can you feel the burn doing really well keep going And relax cool you can stretch it out if you want bringing the hips back towards the feet the next exercise we're doing will be the swimmer now I am NOT a swimmer I'm not about to teach you how to swim but don't worry it's pretty simple you're just gonna be alternating one arm and one leg V the other ready and go so lifting the head up slightly off the mat we're just gonna use the back muscles to do what they're pretty much designed to do, is just stabilize the trunk as we move the limbs or kind of partly what they're designed to do. So I want you to really try and get like, imagine if there's like a diagonal line between the opposite arm and the opposite leg. And as you alternate from side to side, keeping good posture, elongate your body, really control the movement. You're doing really well, nice long limbs and relax awesome so the next move that we're going to go into are the back raise circles so again remaining on our front so we're just going to draw tiny little circles with our head <laughs> ready and go stretching the arms out in front of you i want you to move the body 10 times in one direction then 10 times in the other. Slow and controlled movement. So because we're changing direction halfway through, you'll really have to kind of control the upper body, feeling the weight of your head right now. <laughs> but that's cool. Keep the arms stretched out. Doing really well. Keep going. Once you've counted to 10, switch and go the other way and relax. Awesome, stretch out the lower back again. Can you feel it? Because I can feel it, it's good. It's what we're here for, you're doing really well. Next, we're gonna do some bird dogs. So a very simple movement, a really great movement um, for your posture and control. Ready and go. Knees below hips, hands below shoulders. I want you to stretch out the opposite arm to the opposite leg. Really holding the core nice and tight, keeping the integrity of the spine, watching your pelvic tilt. 
just gonna alternate from side to side. Try not to shift too much in the body. You're using your core to control, but also using your back to stabilize the movement of the arm and the leg, doing really well. Keep it nice and slow and controlled. This is not a race, it's not a competition. Really working on that good posture, integrity, and relax. You're doing really well, guys. Well done. Are you sweating? Because I'm sweating, but it was a very hot day, so I don't know. I might be biased. All right, we're going back in with some more standing flies now. So up on our feet. Ready and go. Hips back. Arms wide apart, just bringing the arms out to parallel with the body, squeezing the rhomboids, squeezing the delts, really using the upper back muscles to carry the weight of the arms as though you're flying. And doing this will honestly make you glad that humans can't fly because genuinely it's quite a lot of effort. It does, it does burn, but that's good because that's why we're doing it. Keep going, weight through the heels hips back, slight bend in the knees. You can have a slight bend in your arms as well. Good range of motion and relax. Well done, getting stronger by the second, even though you might feel like jelly. <laughs> Coming back down to the floor, we're gonna go back in with some more back raises. How are you feeling? You feeling good? Ready and go, hands behind head. Lift up the upper body off the mat as high as you can. Really working the muscles of the back. Doing really well. You will feel a squeeze in your glutes. That's okay. It's just two for the price of one. Just keep going. You can slow down, but try not to stop. Try not to overarch your lower back, so although you can't see it, my core is still tight. And relax, well done. Stretch it out, stretch it out, because we are going back in with some swimmers. Doing really well, I love that stretch by the way. So, so good, just bringing the hips back towards the feet. Well done, and back in we go with some swimmers. So alternating arm to leg. We're just using the back to keep a good posture, feeling that stretch from the tip of your fingers to the tips of your toes as you swap from side to side. As you raise the arm, you're really using the muscles of the upper back. Doing really well, keep going. Absolutely smashing it, getting stronger with every move. And relax, awesome. Bring it back for another stretch for a few seconds. So we are going back in with the circles. At least you gotta lie down, right? That's, that's a bonus, you can't say, can't say I'm not kind to us. <laughs> Ready and go, arms stretched out in front of you. Circling to one way, to the other way. The more that you change direction, the more that you have to pause and control your body. Doing really well, really trying to lift up the upper body off the mat when you're doing these circles, okay? So it's not just a passive movement, you're actually trying to control the upper body and draw that circle with your hands with the top of your head. Doing really well and relax, well done. Almost there, absolutely killing it. And we're gonna finish off with some bird dogs again. Not a competition, not a rush. There is no rush rather, not a rush, don't know what that means. Ready and go. Knees below hips, hands below shoulders, slow and controlled. Good pelvic tilt, core nice and tight elongating the body, feeling the length of your limbs, but controlling them, controlling them with the muscles of the trunk. Doing really well. Again, you'll feel this in your arms, your glutes. Keep going, switching from side to side. Try not to feel your body tipping side to side. So you are using your core and your back to stabilize. 
and relax. You've done it. You've totally made it through this back workout. Don't forget to let me know how you found it in the comments. Are you as sweaty as, as I am? Um, I kind of hope so slash not. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Love you so much. Bye.